Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. Today we're going to be talking about Sony, as apparently they are increasing the prices of the PlayStation 5. So if it wasn't hard enough to find a PlayStation 5 or actually buy a PS5, now the prices are actually going up. Now, and where I'm at, if you go to Best Buy, GameStop, Walmart, Target, you can't find a PlayStation 5 really anywhere. And now they're going to get more difficult to buy for people who don't have a lot of money to spend because, well, they're increasing the prices. So I think the PS5 All Digital Edition is about $400. I believe the PS5 Physical Edition is like $500 or something like that. But now they're increasing those prices, so it's going to be even more money to buy a PS5, the system that you can't find. Now, obviously, I have a PS4 and a, you know, a PlayStation hat, but... I only have a PS5 or PS5 control to show this for this video, but yeah, I just I decided to pick up the camera, and make a quick video on the PlayStation 5 increase on the prices. Now Sony said that they blame inflation for this, and this is why they're increasing the prices. Um, while I call BS and all capitals, um, they can blame inflation all they want, but I don't think PS5 prices should be going up. And, you know, it's just ridiculous. We, we live in very ridiculous times. And, um, you know, for everybody who for everybody who does not have a PlayStation 5 yet, like me, Sony is making it a lot more difficult because now they're making the prices go, you know, even more, even further up than they were before. I mean, on eBay, people are selling PlayStation 5 systems for thousands of dollars. Um... Because you can't find a PlayStation 5 at GameStop, you can't find them at Best Buy, you can't find them anywhere because they're always sold out. And even when you find a PlayStation 5 on Amazon or eBay, they're like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And now, Sony is increasing the PlayStation 5 from its original prices to now, what's it going to be now, like $600, $700, $800? $800. It's quite ridiculous and you know not a lot of people <clears throat> are rich or can even find a PlayStation 5 so you know it really sucks right now that Sony is going to be increasing the prices it seems like um, I really hope that they choose against it I hope that people speak out and are like hey Sony you probably shouldn't increase the prices of the PlayStation 5 because number one people can't even find them and uh Number two, you know, the games are already so expensive for the play, 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 PlayStation 5, plus you're already paying, you know, like $400 for the digital edition and like 500 for the physical edition, so making them even more expensive is just ridiculous in my opinion. Um, but anyway, for all the people out there who want a PlayStation 5, just stick with the PlayStation 4. Just... <laughs> Stick with this for like a few more years, you know. Um, the PlayStation 4 will be supported till like 2024. I mean, you don't really need a PlayStation 5 right now. Um, it, it does suck because obviously people want the next big thing, people want the new thing, but with the prices increasing on PlayStation 5, plus it being almost impossible to even find one unless you're rich or you just get freaking lucky, but for right now, for all the people that want PlayStation 5, just stick with the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 has fantastic games, and there are still games coming out for the PlayStation 4. So everybody might as well just stick with this system, especially because of the price increase for PlayStation 5, and of course, it's difficult to find them. Um, you can still buy PlayStation 4s all over the place. You can still buy a PS4 actually rather cheaply. I mean, on eBay, they have like PlayStation, PlayStation 4 consoles for like... Um, three hundred dollars, some even like two hundred dollars. I mean, you know, you might as well just stick with the PlayStation Four. Um, you know, that's just my opinion on it. Um, I'm probably going to be using PlayStation Four for for probably decades. You know, I mean, I don't know if I ever actually get a PlayStation Five, and even if I was to get like a new um, gaming machine, I'd probably go for a gaming PC. Because if Sony is going to increase the prices and PlayStation 5 is always simple, duper expensive, if I ever do get that much money, I might as well just 
go out and get a freaking gaming PC with Steam and you can play some PlayStation games and even Xbox games on a gaming PC, which kind of makes the PS5 not really worth it at that point if you think about it. But anyway, I'm the end of the video, so I hope you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, but yes, PlayStation 5 prices are increasing and it really sucks. Um, tell me in the comments below what you think about Sony increasing the prices of the PlayStation 5. And uh, tell me if you will stick to your PlayStation 4 like I am, or if you are going, going to try to get yourself a PlayStation 5 console. Now, if you already have one, or if you've gotten lucky, tell me in the comments below how, how has your experience been with the PlayStation 5. But, um, I'm not going to have one for a long time. <laughs> That's all I know. For all the people that do have one, you are lucky, and I hope you have a great time with the PlayStation 5 system. But anyway, peace out, everyone. And goodbye.